Welcome to my living room! I hope you guys had a great holiday. I am still in the festive season. I decided to shoot in front of my tree. Today I wanted to show you guys what I got for Christmas. So it's time for a little bit of show and tell. I don't remember if I've done a video like this before, but I got so many cute things this year. I just had to share them with you. And I also want to know what is your favorite thing that you got this year. Leave a comment down below uh, so we could all share it with each other. But I have so many goodies to show you. And Ruby, don't you dare bark. You wanna say hi to everybody? Come here. So it's kind of rare when I film up in my living room space, uh, but if you guys hear like pounding and thudding, that's the cats. And if you hear barking, it's this little, this little thing right here. Ruby! Say hi to everybody. If you guys want more Ruby, there will be a link in the description for her Instagram account where you can get all sorts of Rubiness. Be a good girl, okay? Okay. Time for some goodies. I have no idea where to start, but I'm just gonna pick something up. So I got a diva jacket. It is so adorable. This was from my husband, and actually I found out uh, that he got this for me like a month before Christmas. And he let me have it, which is really nice of him. Seriously though, it is my new favorite jacket. It's just made really, really well. Like the lining inside has the little bunny diva uh, and then we got some patches here and then patches along both arms. In the front, we have a diva patch. Um, but I just love diva as a character. Not gonna lie, it's been a minute since I've played Overwatch and I don't really play diva as often, but I love her as a character so I love this jacket. Um, definitely one of my favorite things this year. I don't even I don't even know what to do next. I got so many good Christmas gifts this year. This was the first year that we used this website called Elfster, which is the reason why I think I got everything I wanted. So you guys see later on, I'm gonna post a video about cleaning out my closet, but I've been trying to clean out my closet, um, selling and donating clothes. So I'll put a link in the description if you guys are interested in buying any of my clothes. Um, I now have a closet store available. Um, anyway, so I cleaned out my closet from some bags that I don't use and my parents got me a new purse. It is a Ted Baker cat purse. It's a cat bag. It is so freaking cute. And I asked for the silver one. I didn't know that it has like rose gold chain. I thought it was just, it just complements it so nicely. But they do have a black one if you guys are interested in it. And then inside, I have some stuff in here. Um, it's pink. Silver and pink, they go so well together. Not to mention this is the perfect bag size for me. I like to keep it small because I hate lugging around a lot of stuff. I just like having the, the bare essentials. Even my, my camera fits in here, my little vlogging camera. So it is perfect. Cat, perfect. So I love having accessories on my bags. It makes me feel super cute and I get to change them um, often. So I asked for this uh, pom-pom. My parents got it for me. It's not just any pom-pom. Uh, it is faux fur and it actually acts as a charger. So I didn't know this. I saw it online and I was like, oh my God, this is like a tech, it's tech and it's functional and it's cute. I need it. And I always use my phone battery, so I was like, I need a super cute phone charger. So this one actually has different uh, little attachments. So um, there's one for an iPhone and an Android. Uh, there's two of them attached here, um, which is awesome. I don't have Android, but sometimes, you know, a friend needs a charge. You just gotta be there for your friends. I also got a book. My friend Christina got me this book. It is One Line a Day. It's a five year memory book, uh, which is seems crazy. I'm gonna try to stick to it. So it's really, really pretty. The cover is really gorgeous with the gold foil and then I just love the, 
the pages right here on the side. Um, but what it is, is just literally a five year um, journal. So you write like a line a day. It has like four lines for every day. Yeah, it says here you can add your thoughts on the present day's events. So it's literally just, just your thoughts, which is super cool because it doesn't take that much time. It's not like writing in a diary every single day. Uh, so I'm really gonna try to stick to it for a year or for five years on the 1st of January. That's when I'm gonna start. So she has, my friend has a five year journal as well. So we're gonna try to motivate each other to post in it or write in it. So I thought it was pretty cool. So next up, I got a piece of art. You guys know I really love drawing, painting, illustrating. I love anything artsy and crafty and creative. My parents got me this little art piece uh, for, I think I might put it in my, um, my studio. Uh, but it's a kitty. It's a kitty with the moon phases behind it. And then there's also the different seasons. And I believe it's watercolor. There's a hummingbird, a butterfly, and some flowers in it. But I thought it was just so cute. And then the artist's name is Rachel Walker, by the way, for those of you wondering. So like I mentioned before, I had been cleaning out my closet and I got rid of a bunch of shoes that I don't wear. Um, and I put a lot of shoes on my list and I got five pairs of shoes this Christmas. <laughs> Five. I ain't even mad. Seriously, these shoes are so freaking cute. I think it calls for a runway show. What did I say? Weren't those freaking so cute? I've never been so happy to have these shoes in my life. I'm all about the fluff. All about the fluff this year. I don't even know what, where this stems from. The obsession of shoes. I have no idea. I just feel like shoes are the perfect accent to your outfit. They can make or break it, you know? Like everybody has that one pair of shoes where you could be bumming it and you put your shoes on and you're like, bam, statement shoes. You know, yeah. I'm so excited to wear these shoes this coming year. Um, I might put some looks together for you guys, but I'm definitely wearing a pair on New Year's. I have no idea what I'm wearing though. Okay, so another gift that I got is from Lime Crime. And it's this lovely little package uh, from my parents. So I've never tried the Lime Crime unicorn hair. It's their hair dye line. And I actually got another different color uh, from another friend and I've tried it um, on this side and added a little here, which is my, my hair is a little bit more blue, just the purple. But they got me Moon Childs, which is a really pretty lilac color. And then I also got Diamond Dew, which I haven't tried just yet. It's a liquid glitter eyeshadow. Um, and this one is called Paris. And I mean, look, isn't this so cute? Just iridescent. I love their, um, I love their packaging. Diamond Dew. Ooh, that's pretty. It's really pretty. I'm just gonna, just gonna put some, some dew on my eyes. I already have highlighter on but it's the year of the unicorn you know what I'm saying also this is not lime crime um, but I got a new little wallet for my ID and my cards I thought this was the cutest thing it's a little flip phone so last but not least I got some booties for my house because I have wood and tile floors and my feet get super cold
Well, that is everything that I got this year for Christmas. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what your favorite thing that you got for Christmas this year was, and let me know what your favorite thing from this array of items is. Uh, comment down below. I'll be reading comments and replying. Uh, but I hope you guys had a very Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays. And I'm sure I'm gonna see you guys within the new year, but if not, Happy New Year. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Tiffy, and I will see you guys later. Bye. Peace. Love.